Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be dropping a review about on this Troop Wow. Now this is the first fragrance I've ever bought from this house, uh, Jupe. I'm not too familiar with it. I've heard the name before. Never smelled any of their fragrances. Um, so let's just talk about the presentation a little bit. This is the smaller bottle. It's another toilet. It says for men. The top is kind of funky. Like it, um, like you twist it and, and look, it has a, has a hole on the top. So you just slide it in like this. It gets the job done though. It does stop it from spraying. So they, they try to get creative with it. I mean, it could have just as easily been just a normal top, right? Which is fine. I do like the design of the bottle itself. Looks nice. Has a thick base at the bottom. Color of the juice looks cool. So this was launched back in 2017. Now I gotta give kudos to the nose behind this. It's a... Uh, what was his name? Reynald, I think. Reynald something. I'll put a picture of him right here on the video after I, I finish recording it. Now, this guy got off on this shit. I, I really love this. I, I need to get a bigger bottle. I'm, I'm going to get one for sure. I don't know if I'm going to keep the bigger one and this one or maybe just sell this one once I get the bigger bottle, right? But, man, this shit is good. I was really impressed with this. So, in the opening, what you're going to get right here is... um. You know what? Let me spray it. Let me let me throw it on. This is a sprayer. Ooh, it smells really good in the air too, but it smells just as good on skin, man. Ah, okay. So yeah, I I like the sprayer. It has a little bit of pressure control to it, but it, you know it gets the job done. Because when it lands on you, you feel it almost like it's dripping, right? Which I don't mind. It's perfectly fine, in my opinion. Once it dries out, it's all good, right? If anything, you're getting, it feels like you're getting more of the juice on you, right? So it's not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe you want to spray more, right? I would chalk this up on the fresh spicy because that's exactly what you're going to get in that opening. It's a fresh spicy scent. It has some cardamom. So there goes your spicy. This is a sweet spicy. Not a like a spicy spicy like cinnamon or chili peppers, right? So it's a sweet spicy. And then you get a uh, bergamot in the opening. So... The take on cardamom here with that bergamot, it makes it real bright and invigorating. Um, I don't know if I have anything like this in my arsenal. I have a lot of fragrances with cardamom, but I don't know if I have this take on it, right? Like this, this citrusy and bright. This is almost like if, if a cardamom was a citrus, if it was like an orange or something, you just squeeze it and got that juice out of there. And instead of smelling like orange, it smelled like cardamom. Love the opening. Love it. It's uh that that will last you about two hours. Now the projection, the projection will also last you about two hours of good projection. After that, it starts getting a little more moderate for the next two hours. Then we get the deep dry down where it's kind of a skin scent, right? So for four hours, you get a you get a a, a good cloud bubble. In the first two hours, you get a, a little more than that. It will leave a it will linger, right? It will leave like a sillage. Like when I move my arms around like that, like I just catch the waves when I walk somewhere. Like uh, go leave to the room or something, come back, you still see the, the smell lingering. So this has some good sillage to it, at least for those first two hours. Very bright, very fresh, and uh, this is very sexy, but it's also very, uh, at least for me, casual. This is totally something I would rock day-to-day -day use as a signature scent, right? Uh, this would be right up my alley. These are the type of fragrances I like to wear on a daily basis. Nowadays, since I have... Uh, so much fragrances, so much options. I uh, you don't use the same fragrance for like three weeks in a row, right? It's very rare. So so I wouldn't get as much use out of it because I'm trying out my other stuff. But this would be one if I had only like ten fragrances. This would most likely be one in that arsenal. So it's a compliment getter. Trust me, you're gonna get compliments with this. I haven't gotten one yet because I haven't used it a lot. I used it maybe like four or five times, and and when I was wearing it this time, I was like, you know what? I need to drop a review on it. So yeah, this is this is a fragrance that will get you compliments. Cardi Mom usually does. It's a it's a nice alluring uh, note, right? That people gravitate towards. Usually, people enjoy it. To the like I said, in the first two hours, it's very bright, and then uh, the next two hours, you don't no, no longer have that bergamot anymore. That has faded away. So that's what made it so fresh and, and uplifting, right? And then, like I said, that was my favorite part. Once that's gone, you only get the Cardi Mom. So it's just kind of sweet for like another hour, right? It's just sweet cardamom. It's no longer super fresh. And uh, you have, have a violet leaf note that kind of comes in and out, right? Sometimes you smell it, sometimes you don't. 
but it's always there. It's always lingering and never goes away, right? It's there through the, there through the whole fragrance from the opening all the way to the to the end of the fragrance. So that violet leaf note is there for, like I said, like that third hour. He's getting that cardamom and that violet leaf note. Once we get to the fourth and fifth hour, it says it has tonka bean and vanilla. So that's what's on the base. So the dry down is not my favorite because that, uh, that dirty chocolatey vetiver, I'm not a fan of it. It smells to me kind of like how my body smells. Uh, different people's body odor is different. But to me, when I smell that, that's kind of how I feel I smell naturally when... You know, when you, when you finish exercising, when you come out of work and you're musky, your know, sweat has dried down or whatever, how you smell, I'm like, oh, I need to hop in the shower. That's how this uh, dirty vetiver smells like to me. It's like, oh, you know, like, smells dirty, like like you need to hop in the shower already. And uh, it still has that cardamom, so it doesn't make it smell completely terrible. So you still get some of that sweetness, that spice. But yeah, that dry down, that's deep in the dry down once you're like four hours in. So, so yeah, for the majority of this fragrance, which... I said only lasts about five hours for those four hours. It's a banger. And that last hour, uh, I could take it or leave it. You know what I'm saying? So overall, this is definitely worth the buy. I seen the big bottle goes for around 40 bucks. Uh, totally worth the 40 bucks. This smaller one, I bought a long time ago for 25. Uh, now I've seen it at around 30. So yeah, um, I think it's a solid buy at 40. Definitely recommend it. Uh, like I said, if I had... If I look through all my fragrances and I had a few that I would recommend, this would be one. Age groups, this is kind of to me, I said earlier, it was I described it as sexy compliment getter, but it's also, it's fun. It's a fun and it, since it's bright with that bergamot in the opening, I can see this being um, youthful, right? So I think this is something anybody of any age can rock and in uh, super versatile, any situations. They can be dressed up, dressed down. It could be for a night out, a date. It could just be for lounging, hanging out, right? This just works. It's like a Swiss army knife, right? Where it just works for everything. Uh, and uh, like I said, age groups, any age can rock this as well and pull it off with no problem. You don't have to worry about does this scent match my uh, wardrobe or my outfit or whatever, right? This just goes with everything. It's like, um, you know, like soda. Uh, when you're eating, doesn't matter what you're eating. You could be at the finest restaurant and soda will still fit that meal, right? You know, a nice glass of Coca-Cola with some ice. Bam, and you're set. That's what this is. So hopefully I put this joint on the radar for you in case you hadn't heard about it. And if you had heard about it already, uh, I hope this video helped you make a informative decision if it sounds like a description of something you might be interested in or if it sounds like something you're going to pass on. So if it helped in any of those ways, uh, hopefully you hit that like button. It really helps your boy out right here. And if you want to see more of my videos to hear me talk fragrances and hear my take on certain fragrances, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way I'll notify you on your feed every time my new video drops. Other than that, I'll just check you guys out next time.